Hey guys, welcome back to ID Studies. This is the part four, and with example four of CFW long form calculation. So this time we will be making eleven in our fourth example. So watch the video till the end, and to understand very well, please watch all the videos from first to last. So this CFW long form series will be of total six videos. And I will be giving one extra video, the seventh video, that will be the bonus video. I will say, yes, sir. And in that video, I will explain all, but just uh, I will explain without example. So, but uh, if you know what is CFW no form, and if you just have to take a quick review, so you can see that video. Otherwise, I will say you know you must see all the six parts of CFW no form, then only you will understand. Otherwise, it will be difficult for you to understand everything. Okay then, so we start our video. Let's start it. Okay friends, this is example number four, and here I had written the percentage analysis. So I will tell you the percentage analysis. It is 50 50.04, 11.56, 2.63, 15.76, 5.58, 7.89, 3.08, 0.89. 0.29 and then TiO2 is 1.19 P2O5 0.80. So guys, this is our first step. As you can see, calculate the molecular proportion. Formula percentage analysis divided by molecular weight into 1000. So to make a video short, I have already used this formula and I have already noted down here all the molecular proportions. Of this compounds so you can see here I will tell you the molecular proportions that is 834 113 16 219 140 141 59 16 15 and then 8 so these are the molecular proportions so now we will start our third step which you guys know if possible first make from calcite then aptate then pyrite then eliminate and then magnet and then hematite it is what does this step means is that you have to start from downside you have to climb till eliminate you will see can you make calcite do you have CaO and CO2 no you don't have so you cannot make see you have CaO but you don't have CO2 so you cannot make can you make aptate yes you can make aptate you have 8 apt 8 p 5 so we will use all 8 here the formula of aptate I already told you is that 3CaO dot P2O5. If you have this, you can make it. So you have 8 P2O5 also, and CaO is so much, it is 141. So I will write here 8. You can make it 8 and 8 into 3. So ratio is 3 ratio 1. To know more about the ratios and all things in details, please watch the part 1, part 2, and part 3. Okay. Otherwise, you will get confused how I made all these things because I have told in detail about these ratios and uh, this molecular proportion about its average, how to take the average and all. So, here we will take it as 24, 8 into 324. Okay. Now, can we make eliminate? Uh, sorry, pyrite. Can we make pyrite? No, we cannot make. Then we can make eliminate. So, yes, we can make eliminate. Okay, we have. We want FeO plus TiO2, so we have FeO 219 and TiO2 is 15. So we will make this possible. Okay, this is 15. This also 15. So we have used full P2 and TiO2. Okay. Now, after eliminate, you have, you have to go to magnetite. Okay. After magnetite, you will go to hematite. Always remember this thing. You have to climb till eliminate, and then you have to jump to magnetite, and then hematite. So magnetite. How much magnetite you can make? You can make 16 magnetite. So just make it 16 magnetite and it is fully used here. Okay, so 16 magnetite and 16 FeO. So you have a lot of FeO you can use it. No problem. After that, you have to start the fourth step I will tell you. Still hematite, they have said hematite we cannot make because Fe2O3 is already used in magnetite. So we'll go to our fourth step, which is after this make minerals from top to down. So from top means from orthoclase till olivine. Quartz is at the always at the last. We will make quartz always at the last. Okay. So now it's orthoclase. So 
how much k2 do we have formula for the is k2 add to 3 and 6 as i have so how much orthoclase uh, k2 do we have we have 9 k2 right so we will write here 9 um, right here 9 9 here 2 3 and the 6 9 is of 54 then the same is 1 ratio 1 ratio 6 of albite so how much Na2O we have we have 50 Na2O so we will write here 50 Na2O then 50 Al2O3 and then 50 into 6 it is 300 Na2O right now same for the anorthite here the ratio is 1 ratio 1 ratio 2 so how much CO we have? We have 141 CO out of 141 we have used 24. So we don't have that much. But let's check how much Al2O3 we have. Because we have already used here 59 Al2O3 that is 50 in the albite and 9 in the orthoclase. So when we will minus 59 from 113 we will get 54. So we can make only 54 anorthite. So we have so much CO, so we will use here only 54 and SiO2 will be 108. Okay. So can we make leucite? No, because K2 is fully used in orthoclase. Can we make nepheline? No, because we have already used it in albite. Corundum? No, because Al2O3 is already finished. Asmite? No, because anortho, we have used Na2 in albite. Third one is dioxide. So do we have CO in extra MgO and FeO? Yes, we have a few so much we haven't used. We have used only very few little amount. MGO we haven't used. And CAO we have. We have used only 54 plus 24. We have used only 78 CAO molecules. We are still with, we have 63 molecules of CAO present with us. So we will write here 63. CAO is 63. Okay, guys. So now. The formula for dioxide. Okay, the so fourth time I'm showing you the same formula in the first, second, and uh, sorry, in the third video I have shown you, and in the second video also I had shown you about this form formula. So see, Mg value is 140 in this case, and as I will tell you again, if you haven't seen first, second, and third video, so please watch them. Full, watch this full video so that you can understand these things. So here the values of MgO, FU and CaO is the remaining values. Okay. So how much Mg value is remaining? We haven't used so it is 140. And how much FU value is remaining? Let us count. It was 2 to 219 was here we have used 16 to 203. So 2 not no, no. We have used 16 here and 15 here. So we had used total 31, 31 FU molecules let me count it once so as you can see here these are the left out values of CaO is 63 as you can see here because still dioxide is not made for dioxide we require all three when we will make all three MgO, FU and CaO here we will note it down then only dioxide will be made so CaO we have 63 MgO is 140 and FU is 188 so these are the remaining values right and now this is the formula we have so let's we have to put these values in this formula you can see the formula for mgo proportion it is mgo upon mgo plus fio into cao so then we will get the values so the values of this are 27 we get 27 here and here we get 36 fio okay guys So we had made dioxide also. Now next, can we make volastonite? And if you haven't understood how I have written here, so please comment it down and refer first video on part two video and part three of CI problem on bomb to know how the dioxide formula works. I have explained in more detail by doing step by step of the formula. Okay. So now going to next volastonite we cannot make because we have we have used CaO in dioxide. Now can we make hypostin? Yes, we can make hypostin because we have a lot of FeO and MgO available. So let's make it. So the value of FeO is left over is 152. I will write here 152. Where is it? Hypostin we are making. Okay, so it is 152 and SiO2 is 152. 
and value of mg leptor is 130 okay okay so the final stage is now we have to calculate this p2o5 yeah it used tio2 no 15 fully used h2o we don't use at all you k2o9 9 used na2o used cao54 dr and 63 so 54 plus 63 141 used mgo is used 27 plus 113 used feo 36 plus 122 plus 16 plus 15 is equal to 219 So it is used. Fe two o three sixteen sixteen used. Al two o three nine plus fifty plus fifty four one at thirty is used. So here is the twist for olive oil. As I told you in the previous video and in this video starting also, I will be making an olive oil. So you guys are waiting for that. And why I will be making olive oil? So here is the reason. Do some of this. Fifty four plus three hundred plus one zero eight plus sixty three plus twenty seven plus thirty six plus one hundred thirteen. And plus one hundred fifty two. So sum of this all this uh, molecular proportion is eight hundred fifty three. But technically here it is only eight hundred thirty four. So we have written here the number of uh, when we count this all it is eight hundred fifty four, and it is here it is eight hundred fifty three, and here it is eight hundred thirty four. So what does this mean is that. This means that our rock, the sample rock, which sample we have taken, whatever the sample we have got, this rock sample have silica deficiency. So, to maintain this silica deficiency, we will convert some minerals to their different forms, to different minerals. So, see, I am showing you here this silica deficiency rock. so if this if case like this comes where the sum of all these minerals is more than the molecular proportion of that mineral of that compound then that is a silica deficient mineral and then we have to convert sum of minerals to other minerals so first we have to convert hypersteen to olivine so whatever it is hypersteen it is given and to olivine and why from hypersteen to olivine because as you can see here The formula of hypersteen is MgO dot SiO two, FeO dot SiO two. But whereas of olivine, the formula is two MgO dot SiO two and two FeO dot SiO two. So when we will be okay, hmm. so when we make hypersteen to olivine, so if we will take For example, take if we have hundred hypersteen or hundred MgO particles, we have made hundred MgO, hundred MgO of hypersteen, hundred MgO FeO of hypersteen. Okay, so the ratio is one ratio one. So what happen here will be that if we use hundred MgO, then hundred SiO two will be taken. If we use hundred FeO, then hundred SiO two will be taken. So we will make olivine. So the our plus point in making olivine is when we make when we will use hundred MgO. If we take only 50 SiO2, as you can see, the ratio is 2 MgO dot SiO2 means 2 ratio 1. So if when we will take 2 MgO, it will take only 1 SiO2. So that's why when we have the silica deficient rock, first we have to convert hypersteen to olivine, then albite to nepheline, and then orthoclase to leucine. But so in this video we will convert hypersteen to olivine. In the upcoming videos I will tell you the other. <coughs> So there are some formulas for making hypersteen to olivine. Okay, so we cannot make all the hypersteen to olivine. Here. We have, there is particular formula, so we have to go according to that formula. Okay, so the formula is here. I will show you. So this is olivine formula. Okay. So yeah, this is okay. Olivine formula has been removed, and I will yeah, this is now right. So this is the olivine formula. You can note it down. So see, there are two cases. This is the case one. This is the case two. So I will be telling you first case. So what this the first case says? This M plus F upon two is smaller or equal to S. Then we have to use this this formula. 
we, we will be using this formula case one this is then we will satisfy our case one we have to use this this whole formula to get see this we have to use this formula to get fpo proportion and mg proportion but if the first case fails here then we will be using <coughs> if m plus f upon 2 is greater than s then we will make all olivine means we will not make hyperstein we will make full whatever hyperstein we have made we will convert it into olivine okay so what is here m what is here the one question will be what is here m f 2 m f and s so here here it is m means the remaining proportion of mgo f means remaining proportion of fu and s means remaining proportion of si2 but wait uh, we before some time i told you we have used 850 for si2 so there is nothing remaining in si2 right so very first step when we have to when we get a silica drop is first we will rub this line whatever line this is we have written here now this we have made a uh, hyperstein so we will rub this okay yeah so now you have to find out this according to the formula m f and s okay so remaining values you have to find out all these three things so how many m means how many mgo is left over how many fu is left over and how many si is left over so i will be finding it out so we will do sum of here all so it is 54 we have to do minus okay we have to minus 54 then minus 300 then minus 108 then minus 63 then minus 27 minus 36 so it will be equal to s okay and the next one is <coughs> fu so fu value is how much let me check fu is 219 and we have used 13 plus 16 plus 15 okay so i do have the right in here 219 it is minus 36 minus 15 minus 16 so this is f value right see 219 minus 36 minus 16 minus 15 and now mg value we have to find out again 140 minus 27 so m equals to 140 minus sorry minus 27 so this will be our this is this line is by mistake okay so 140 minus 27 will be the m value f value and s value so we will find it out this so we got these values i have just calculated them so it is so remaining silica value is 246 fu uh, fu value is 102 and mg value is 113 so we have to put as you can see here we have to put this in this formula so we will be putting m is so m is 113 plus 152 divided by 2 so 113 plus 152 equals to 265 and divided it by 2 so when we divide by 2 we will get 132 okay guys so we are getting 132 point five okay so and our s value is 249 249 so you can clearly see here the s value is far greater than the m plus f upon 2 so here our case 1 is satisfied as you can see if m plus f upon 2 is smaller than or equal to s we have to use this whole formula so now we will use this formula because the case is satisfied so let's do this formula now so we know the value of the m m m f and s okay so we will be finding out here the value of y first so m plus f minus s we have to do it so let me write the formula yeah 
here m plus f minus s into 2 equals to y so 2 into 113 plus 152 minus 246 so it is 246 so it is nearly 19 which equals to 19 in sorry 2 into 19 so it is nearly 38 right so the y value is 38 now again using the same formula i have shown you just before so here we have got the y value now we have to do we have to find out f u proportion so f, f was 152 upon 113 plus 152 is, is 265 into y that is 38. This is f u proportion. Okay. This will give us f u proportion and the another will give us m g o proportion that is 113 upon 265 into 38 we have used this formula okay first and second so let me calculate it so guys i have done the calculation and i have got its value is 21.7 so i will have rounded it it is 22 and here i got 16.2 so rounding of it it is 16 okay now how i did, did, did this rounding of i have told in the previous three videos so you can refer those Okay, so we have got the value of F A proportion is 22 and M G O is 16 in olivine. Okay, we were doing of olivine. So we will be writing here 22 and 16 in the olivine. So 16 M G O used 16 M G O and 22. So 22. Okay, sorry guys. Here we will not write 16 in silic in S R O column. We have to write here only 8 because the ratio is 2 ratio 1. So 16, 16 mg is used, so only 8. And if 22 FA is used, so only 11 SIO2 will be used. And now, whatever it is remaining, whatever the rem remaining FU and mg is there, we have to make it hypersteam. Okay. So now let's minus 140 minus 27 minus 16. So it is nearly 90, it is 97. Okay. So this is 97, 97. And this 219 minus 36 minus 22 minus 16 minus 15 is equal to 130. So now if you will calculate all these things, so it will be 834. And see this guys, in example number 4, no quartz is formed because all 834 molecules of SiO2 is, is been used here. Okay. So if you will count it now, so it is some, some will be 834 only. So now going to the sixth step, we have done all the proportion is here and this is the difficult part actually of full this making minerals. So we have made all the proportion here, now everything is finished up. So now going to the fifth step that is calculation, calculating molecular proportion of minerals. So that is smallest mineral proportion upon 1000. So this time I will be not doing the steps because I had already told about this in the past uh, in the past three videos and if i will be doing this then it will take again more than five or ten minutes so just i am telling you the formula this is the formula smallest mineral proportion so just you have to find out the smallest mineral so this is the smallest mineral pro pro proportion is this nine so just nine divided by one thousand right here in this molecular proportion of mineral okay this column is of molecular proportion of mineral this column is a molecular weight of mineral and here we will be writing percentage now. So as when you will do this here, the smallest mineral here is the smallest number of mineral proportion is 9. So right here 9 divided by 1000, here 50, here 54, here the number are same. So 63 divided by 1000, 27 divided by 1000, whatever the value will be, you have to write it here. And here 8, here 15, here 16, here 22. Here, not here, not 22, here 11. Okay, in olive, you have to take 11 and 8 because the smallest number is 11 and 8. So take 8 and 11 in olive. And then you have to multiply 
the sixth step i will tell you again this is the sixth step calculate percentage norm of molecular proportion of mineral into molecular weight so when you will get the molecular proportion you have to multiply it by molecular weight and then you will get a percentage norm write the percentage norm in the average form and then do sum of all the minerals present in this salic group see here the line is given still that only some min here only three now orthoclase albeda and all right calculate the percentage norm and write here in salic group and in the same way calculate the percentage norm of femic group and write here so for your reference i will write here and you guys you guys you guys can check it out whether your answer is same or not and tell me in the comment box what is your so he do came 46.21% is the salic group and this is 53.66% okay guys so tell me whether you guys got the right answer or not okay so this is the example number 4 and this is finished here and if you guys will do this molecular proportion and percentage norm you can write it in the comment box i will check it whether it is right or wrong and if you are in doubt you can ask it in the comment section hope so you like the video and you enjoyed like me i do enjoyed a lot in the example number 4 it was good we have done lots of calculations and all i have to pause the video for multiple times to calculate and write calculate and write so if there is if you think there is any calculation mistake then you can comment down and i will make it clear okay then guys if you like the video share with your friends who don't know about cf program form or who want to learn cf program form and don't forget to subscribe and like the video thank you for watching the video